Hello, trading has closed on February 8th, 2023. We'll do our disclaimer, go over our calls and make some predictions. This is my trading plan for Thursday, February 9th, 2023. Please remember my calls can be completely wrong and any trade you make should be at your own risk. Look for the pattern with the early high, which is this, and tomorrow should have the early low. This is what we said. We said if uh, yesterday's rally was maintained at the open, it should lead to higher prices. Well, obviously it wasn't maintained. In fact, we gapped down smartly, and that always kills the, the call. We really should have undercut this low to kill the whole idea. That hasn't happened yet, but time doesn't run out until early tomorrow. You don't know where you're going to open tomorrow. Well, this is a pretty bullish pattern, and when it fails, it usually fails in grand style, and it usually fails in grander style than this. Time's not out. Our time isn't up yet, though. During the day, we did get a sell signal from EJT here. That's already played out. When this dropped, we had an EJT. It said it was a false move. Gave us a price target, 41.32.91. That was hit within a penny or two. Um, hit within two cents. When you get a direct hit like that, it usually leads to a pretty big move in the other direction. It usually leads to more of a move than this, and that number remains targeted once again, 41.32.91. We're coming up to some pretty strong resistance. We still have this to mark sell signal, and even though it hasn't delivered a lot, it hasn't been invalidated either. Still is a signal that's working. It's not the only resistance. We have resistance from DeMarc's TDST line. We have resistance from the 89-week moving average. This is a technique of Edson Gould. You take the range, divide it into thirds, draw a line to the price extreme, connect that high to this, and this is a resistance area. We stopped pretty much at the area. We stopped right at the 61.8% retrace, and I'm hoping we're going to see a wave red C at some point. Now, how do you count this wave here? Well, so far, this wave that I'm calling B, and the colors aren't the same, just ignore that. It's 127.2% of A, which is a common place for it to stop. So how can you explain this business, which I don't think is very easy? I'm not really thrilled with any count I came up with, but you could call this a leading diagonal triangle. It's a 5-3-5-3-5 pattern. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 with overlap. You have good fibs if that's wave 2. And if it is wave 2, we could be in wave three, with wave three of three, the strongest wave, about to start pretty soon. Now, it's entirely possible that's wave one of some degree, and we have an ABC here, and our price targets hit, the MJT target could be hit. But I'm not confident of any of these counts, and even though they don't break any rules, it doesn't make some other count, doesn't mean some other count isn't going to work too. Uh, Larry Williams has a thing where you rally all day long and then you have an inside day. The next day is lower. Now, this isn't rallying all day long, but I think this might be close enough. And when you have an inside day, it's a lack of follow through, a lack of confirmation of this move. And for all these reasons, I'm I think there's a good chance this recent resistance holds and that we trade lower, although we could have a rally first 
yet tomorrow's open to complete an ABC. I can't rule that out. Well, we have signals which are mixed. We use the rules. Tomorrow's pattern has the early low. We could still gap up. There's a higher me JT target. If we don't gap down smartly, the rules call for it to print. But I can't rule out gapping down smartly. And I can't rule out a failure of the target to print. It is bullish that in addition to the higher target, we gap down, hit lower low, and closed over intraday lows. So if that's maintained at the open, this should lead to higher prices. Doesn't mean it's a higher close, but higher prices. And gapping and promptly undercutting today's low kills the idea. But it's negative that we, that we got no follow through from yesterday's bullish pattern. And furthermore, the straight line rally was followed by an inside day, which resembles a self signal of Larry Williams. It wasn't an all day rally, but I think it's the same principle. You have a rally with no confirmation. We're at an area of strong resistance, and there's a wave count which has us in wave three down. If we gap up tomorrow, it could turn out to be a gap and trap with us dropping the rest of the day. So it's the pattern with the early low. If we gap up, this could complete an ABC resistance at the target 41.32.91. I think there's a good chance the recent high holds and we get our wave red C that we've been waiting for uh, patiently, I should say, for some time. Today was also a change in trend day on the square of nine. And even though I have a higher target, and even though my wave count doesn't really call for gapping down, um, I just can't rule out a gap and trap and I can't rule out gapping down. This looks like pretty negative stuff to me. Doesn't mean the higher target isn't going to print. It still could. Tomorrow has really low and that's today's call.